<laughs> good afternoon. Good afternoon. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Amen. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful day. Amen. Beautiful people are coming on. As you come on, please share. God bless you. Blessings, blessings. Amen. We are excited about today. It's a new day. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is faithful. Amen. He's faithful. Blessings, blessings. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for inviting. God bless you, Adrian, Carlos, Prophet Carlos. God bless you, Michelle Strong Swift. God bless you, um, Lynette 33, Seer Joyce. Amen. Chongli 12. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Miss Pham. Uh, amen. Many of you, North Carolina, from different places. If it's your first time, please let us know. If it's your first time. We certainly want to give you a first timer's welcome. Yes, it is beautiful here in Tampa, Florida. The sun is shining beautifully. Amen. We're getting some vitamin D today <laughs> as we sit here in the sun. God bless you, D. Williams, Nima Washington, Emily. Blessings, Joanna. Blessings to you. Yes, hello from Virginia. Blessings. Thank you so much. Trailblazers for life. Blessings, blessings. Grateful to have you. Amen. Rosalie 8115, thank you for inviting your followers. First time from Tallahassee, can we give them some hearts and let them know we appreciate them and we love them and we welcome them to our, our, our family. Amen. Coming all the way from Tallahassee. Great things in Tallahassee. We have many, many friends there in Tallahassee. Yes, God bless you. Yes, new season for time and chance. Absolutely, it's your time and it's your chance. Kimberly Solomon, we love you, appreciate you. Blessings, blessings, amen. Marcy Durdham, God bless you. Yes, hallelujah. Tamantha B, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. Brittany Nash, you're awesome. Chanda, we love you. Blessings, blessings upon each and every one of you. Amen. The suddenly testimonies are, are continuing. <laughs> it's amazing. Amen. It's amazing to what God is doing. He always overwhelms us. He always amazes us. His, his grace, as we know, is amazing, but everything he does is amazing. And so we can never be too comfortable with God. We can never put him in a box um, based on our past experience or how God did it before. Amen. He's always doing something new and he was, he's releasing something new in your life and he's doing it suddenly. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Chicago, all the way. Sharon, Bernie, blessings to you. Good afternoon. Yes, your book came in the mail. God bless you. Absolutely. Many are coming. Sometimes the mail gets a little delayed. We always have a tracking uh, system, but God is faithful, amen, to deliver it on time to you, in time and on time. God bless you from Toronto, from Austin. Yes, we're sending some sun to the north. Aisha Bowden, Bowden. Bowden. She God bless you. She's got you. her suddenly t-shirt on today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We had suddenly t-shirt yesterday at church. Yes, we sure did. And um, it was amazing. And I'm going to tell you, it was. they started praise and worship before service started. I mean, it was, it was, it was an explosion. It was a suddenly, huh? <laughs> it was a suddenly, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Okay, so let, let, let me talk, let me give you a scripture that we're going to kind of move off of today, and I'm going to want you to kind of think about today. Uh, I said, you, how many people remember the old song, Ain't No Stopping Us Now, We're On The Move? Yes. And uh, I was, I was laughing because, <laughs> you know, some people say, well, some songs that you talk about uh, will tell how old you are. And uh, I'm still 25. That's my that's my testimony. I'm sticking to it. Hey, I'm but, 24. Uh, but I look right. You're 24. Okay, <laughs> praise the Lord. But I love that song. Uh, Ain't no stopping us now. We're on the move. Yes. And so uh, I thought about that. I thought about 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57 through 58. It says, "But uh, thanks be to God who give us us the victory through the through our Lord Jesus Christ." Yes. Therefore, my beloved brother, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. And, uh, and I thought about going back to, uh, somebody said, I'm 26 and I know it. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Uh, so, yep, somebody else capped their age at 25. See, I like it. Y'all my kind of people. Amen. Absolutely. But, uh, but when I thought about that thing, I thought about the fact that uh, I got my Reset t-shirt on. And I met, uh, I met uh, our sister Tamara Mc McNair Hicks at Reset in Houston. And so yes. when this thing started, it started at Reset. And, uh, and I thought about, ain't no stopping us now. So, We're on the move. move. 
And that's the same thing for you guys. Amen. We're declaring that it's our suddenly season. Jesus. We're declaring yes. that it's uh, that we're literally going to be in the right place at the in right time. time to receive the manifestation of everything that God has for us. Absolutely. We were prophesying earlier that God was ordering our footstep. God yes. is literally ordering your Jesus. footsteps. Amen. You, and there is no stopping God. you now. You Jesus. are on the move. Amen. And I don't care what it looks like. Yes. I don't care what it feels like. I don't care what the enemy sent against you. There is no stopping you now because Absolutely. you're on the move. And now yes. that you got momentum and you're moving, I'm telling you, there is nothing that can stop you. It's almost like you're a freight train. Come right. on. You're right. a freight train. And once that train gets rolling, Absolutely. nothing's going to stop it. Absolutely. Even as we said just even last week that what God is doing is like a wildfire. It can't be stopped and it can't be contained. Mm. It cannot, and it will not be it, denied. It will not be denied. Absolutely. Because many times in California, as you know, it burns and there are wildfires, whether it's natural or somebody intentionally does it and they try to contain it. They try to stop it. They try to stop it before it spreads to other areas. And so what God is doing cannot be contained and it cannot be stopped. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's what it's all about. Amen. Getting in the right place, getting connected to the right people. Amen. Causing the right kingdom connections to come together yes. and, and creating a synergy, which yes. then creates such momentum that nothing can literally stop you. Amen. Yes. And so, yeah, somebody said, I'm going to bulldoze my way through. Amen. You got to <laughs> believe that you can. Now, this is, let me yes. tell you something. I said it last oh night. God. This is not the yes. season. Hey, God bless you, Sophia. It is so good to see you. Uh, it, but it, it is it is um, this is not the season to allow anything or anybody to stop your momentum. Right. You got to press, you got to push, you got to keep yes. on pushing and yes. pressing because again, it's your suddenly yes. season. You got to know that. Yes. Amen. And sometimes yes. what happens is I was and the reason why I did this one is I was, uh, I gave this thought was because we would, I was talking to a leader uh, just this morning. And as I was talking to this leader, uh, it was like, there were so many different obstacles that were attempting to stop them from really fulfilling the assignment that's on their life. And I'm like, mm -hmm. my God, I mean, my God, I mean, what if nobody supports you? What if nobody comes to help right. you to do what you're doing. No, you right. got to make up your mind. I'm, I'm crazy like this. Amen. Here, here's how crazy I am. I say, if I, I, I believe that I, I'm a catalyst, amen. Right. I'm a catalyst. I believe I'm a fire starter, right? Right. And so I can go into, uh, I, I'll go stand in the middle of the road. Come on now. This, I know this is going to sound crazy, but I just want you to get the concept. I told my wife one time, I said, I believe I could go stand in the middle of the road and look up at the sky and everybody else will come stand in the middle of the road and look up at the sky to see what I'm talking about. Right. Amen. I'm telling you, you, you got to right. be the person who, who is a catalyst. Amen. You got to be the person. Yes. What if nobody else follows? You got to do it long enough so that people can, can just follow what you doing. Don't wait for somebody else to support you. Don't wait for somebody else to approve what you're doing. Don't wait for somebody else to, you know, to get on board. Hey, man, hey, hey, you, you just got to sometimes do it. And right. once you do it, other people will be like, my God, I see this. This makes sense. And let me tell you something else. Don't expect other people to see what God told you. Think about that. Sometimes we're expecting other people to see what God told us. And all right. we got to do is keep doing it. And eventually right. they'll see it. Right, Come because on. people will not be able to operate out of your grace mm -hmm. because God gives us a certain grace for what he's called us to do. As you know, many of you know, I was a nurse for almost 25 years, and that was the grace that God placed upon my life. Now, as much as I still love nursing, I still love people, I could not do what I did then because the grace has been released. Mm. And so it was only for that set time, set and appointed time. And so I can't go back to that. And, and many times people see what you're doing, and they say, oh, I can do that, or I can do it even better, but they don't have the grace and they don't understand where God has you. They don't understand. They didn't they understand. understand what your resume was that processed you Come to be on. able to stand in that place. Absolutely. That's why I was about to say that they don't understand where you started. They don't understand where God found you. They hmm. don't understand the promises of God. They don't understand all the hell that you went through. They don't understand your, your praise. My God, they don't understand your praise. And sometimes people will begin to criticize your praise because they don't understand your pain because hmm. your praise came out of your pain. Your, your worship came out of your warfare. Yes. It glory to God and so even through through it all because sometimes people are not it's not that they they are intentional in doing it, but sometimes out of their own ignorance out of their own experiences out of their own pain that they begin to, to to judge you and say oh you need to do it this way or you need to do it that way or you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do that but you've got to stay focused on God even as God was saying you got to shut out every other voice and you've got to get in the be able to hear the voice of God and seek his voice listen to the small still voice 
voice because it's not always in the chatter. It's not always in the loud things. It's not always in what, what the majority is saying, but it's what God is saying for you in this season. And I'm telling you, he's already gone before you. He's made every crooked path straight. He's even sent an angel before you to prepare the way. He's moving in your life mm. suddenly and it's without notice. Amen. It's without notice. You may not get a prophetic word that God is coming to your house tomorrow, but you got to be ready for when he comes because you are about to receive a knock on the door and it's going to manifest for what you've been praying for. Wow. Wow. Listen. A knock on the door Jesus. for what you've been praying for. Hey, that, that just blew me away. <laughs> a knock on the door for what you've been praying for. Mm. It's about to come and find you. I don't care where you are. Your blessing, your miracle, you, the manifestation of God's word is about to find you. Glory to God. I don't care if you're in Haiti. I don't care if you're in the uttermost parts of the earth. I don't care if you're in hell. Your blessing is about to find you. Tell them about the, about the two or three people in the same day the that, that, that they got checks in the mail from employers even after they had moved and had no forwarding address. Absolutely. No forwarding address. Three people in the same day received a suddenly where a former employer um, um, sent a check that was owed to them. Hmm. They didn't know about it or perhaps even had forgotten about it. But let me tell you something. Your blessing will not forget you. Hmm. As we said, even in the book that God Somebody is about should have to, shouted right there. God is about to remember you, even as he remembered Hannah, even as he remembered Abraham, even as he remembered others. God is about to remember you. He's about to release, and he's already released many things that concerns mm. you. Restoration, healing, breakthrough is about to happen in your life and manifest like you've never seen it manifest before in the name of Jesus. Your miracle is about to knock on your door. Hallelujah. It's about to come. Even as people have been praying and you've been praying, praying for certain things and you've had other people praying concerning you, concerning the thing that is on your heart and it's about to knock on your door and sometimes it's going to be like, God, is this really it? Is this, is this it, God? It, it, have you sent this to me now? And, and God says, yes, this is yours. It's your time and your season. Your time and your chance has come and it is your set and appointed time and so it's time for you to arise. Mm. It's time for you to go forward, to move forward and not let anything stop you because what we are trying to tell you today that this thing is bigger than you. Mm -hmm. It's bigger than you. There, are, you, God is going to position you in such a place that you mm. are going to receive the blessing. But there, there are times God is going to position you so that you can be the blessing. Right. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Let yes. me tell you. Something. I'm going back to what I said Jesus. in the beginning. Hey, Robo there's Shita. no stopping you now. You My got so much, so much momentum. See, you know too much. Right. You know too much word to stop you. You, you've experienced <laughs> too much of God to fight, allow girl. anything to stop you. I don't care what the devil say. You say, wait a minute, hold on. I, let me, let me tell you what God did. Let me tell you what God did ten years ago. Let me tell you what He mm. did ten days ago. You don't let know me, where He brought oh me from. Oh my God, yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes. Come on. And because see, even the naysayers, and you're gonna have them. You're gonna have people that criticize you. You're gonna have people that don't understand where God, where God has you because it doesn't look like everybody else. And it doesn't look like their process. See, that's the other problem that sometimes we have in the body Jesus. is we let people My talk God. us out of what God has told us to do Jesus. because our instructions didn't look like their, their instructions. Are you listening? So you can't afford to let somebody who didn't get the instructions that you got from God or your process didn't look like their process. Come on Jesus. now, because my process is totally different. Totally. And God has called me to do some stuff. Totally. And just because it ain't what he told you to do doesn't mean that God didn't tell me to that's do right. it. Amen. That's right. Even, even, even with us, we, we came from different backgrounds. We had different experiences. My experience was God had me to go through the path of being a nurse. And mm -hmm. so I did that for almost tw um, for almost 25 years. You, on the other hand, God God had a path for you. And he orchestrated your steps. And you served your community, your your nation, th this country, uh, um, being in the Army, United States Army, guarding and protecting. And so that was your path. And so me as a nurse cannot criticize the path that God had you on because you were uh you 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 were in the army a soldier in the army and I was a nurse mm -hmm, amen mm -hmm. and so therefore you can't criticize the path that God had me on but let me tell you what's so good about God let me tell you what's so good about mm. God I don't care what path you're on I don't care what steps you had to take God had a way of connecting us God had a way of mm. ordering our steps so our time and chance came together at the right time December 13 2007 Girl, don't make me shout I'm about to jump in the pool, oh y'all. I'm about to jump in the pool. I'm telling you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Isn't that something? I yes. mean, God just gave me that revelation that I had a path. I was in a completely different state. You had a path. You mm. served and you traveled all over the world. But one day, one day, one God moment, ordered our steps. One hour can mm. make the difference. And God wants to do that for you. 
Yes. He wants to connect you with the right people we at met, the right time. We met December 13th, 2007. Two months later, we got married. We got married. And the next month, we started the church. Jesus, who does that? Come on. We could not have orchestrated that. At, let me tell you something. <laughs> Match.com, dating.com, none of that. Could have worked that out. Could have worked out. My, I, I'm done. <laughs> no, don't be done, because you're on fire today. I, I'm just saying, you, you, do you feel me? Do, do you feel? I, I'm, I'm telling you, I was in a crazy place in my life in 2007. I was in a crazy place where the doctors had given me up to die. They sent me home. They said, there was no hope for you. There's nothing that we can do. Your body is shutting down. I had the symptoms of my body being shut down. The lab, the lab results showed that my body was shutting down. All of that. I was less than 90 pounds. There was no substance in me. And so they sent me home. But God had a plan, and God had a purpose for my life mm, and the yes. devil couldn't kill me the devil couldn't stop me because the word of God kept coming forth in my life the promises of God that God spoke over my life years ago that he sent to people that that spoke into my life even when I was even when I was a teenager and they said you're going to prophesy and you're going to travel the world and you're going to do certain things even at 12 and 13 years old and here I was on my deathbed but God told me he said you cannot die because your promise is still alive and some of you that, that same thing goes for you that you yes. cannot die because your promise My is still alive. God. It doesn't matter who, who, who plots against you, who plans against you. It doesn't matter who doesn't agree with it, who doesn't talk, who doesn't, who doesn't stand with you. I'm telling you, because your promise is still alive, you're going to fulfill your destiny. Absolutely. There is no stopping you now. You're on a path now that's Jesus. literally going to It's changed the trajectory. You're not even the same person you were a few minutes ago. Amen. Yes. God is speaking to you. He is <laughs> ministering to you. And you have changed. You have changed your position. You are a totally different person. And all you got to do now is keep moving because I'm telling keep you moving. the wind keep of God moving. is blowing keep in your moving. favor amen keep the moving. winds of God are blowing in your favor amen Jesus. I'm telling you every prophetic word is getting ready to come to pass everything mm. that God has said Jesus. and as I said ain't no stopping us now because no we're on the move on the move Let ain't no stopping you, you now because you on the move absolutely if you feel like you're going through hell if you feel like all hell is broke loose hmm. against your life and you say God I, I'm in hell and I'm going through hell if you're going through hell don't stop mm -hmm. if you're going through hell don't stop in the name of Jesus, because you're coming out, but you won't even smell like smoke. Not one mm. hair on your head will be singed in the name of Jesus. You're coming out. You're coming out with power. You're coming out with glory. And it was in the fire that you were processed, and you're coming out Purified. as pure gold. That's right. In Jesus' name. Yes. yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. My God, I feel like shouting for you today. I was talking to a friend Woo. of mine the other day, and he was talking about how uh, it seems like sometimes in life, uh, people who, who are the most anointed are the people who have had to go through pure hell. And those are the ones who wanted to break down and quit and wanted to give up and wanted to throw in the towel. That was me. Come on. Amen. Amen. I, I, I dealt with that. I dealt with I dealt with a lot of verbal abuse growing up and, and always being told that I was nothing. I was no good. I would never amount to anything. And so that's what I believe. And I didn't feel like I was valuable. I allowed fear to silence me. I felt, allowed fear to paralyze me. And I felt I could never be used by God. I didn't want to talk. I didn't I, I didn't talk a lot. And so it was it was the abuse. It was the uh, being rejected by my peers and, and being bullied at school and all of those things. And even in ministry, being being um cast out and not not people not wanting to deal with you because they oh she thinks she's better than anybody else and so that was not the case it was just like I wanted to be accepted so bad but then you know I had to come to myself and and even as God began to show me in his word who I really was that I was fearfully and wonderfully made that I was created in his likeness and his image that I was blessed despite what my even my mother said God said no you are blessed you are blessed because I chose you and I've called you and I've anointed you and you're going to do great things in my kingdom even through the process of wanting to kill myself mm. and wanting to end my life, wanting to commit suicide. I went through that for years and I said, God, I don't want to live anymore. Take me tonight. And I would pray that. And God says, no, you will live. You will not die and you will declare my words. I, there is a call of God on your life and you're going to fulfill the call. Hmm. Yes. Girl, you done preach. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> she done made my day. Good God Almighty. Yes. Let me tell you something. When God is for you. Jesus. Even you can't be against you. No stopping you when now. When God is for you, not even yourself can be against you. <laughs> I'm just like, no failure in your life can mm. stop the move of God on your life. Y'all see, how, I'm speechless, right? I don't care how many times you fail. I don't care how many times you stumbled. I don't care when, when, how far you have gotten away from God. Nothing can stop the hand of God mm. on your life. Ain't no stopping if you now. If he has to move heaven and hell, 
he will do that's that. That's right, for Sophia. You. No shutting it down. Jesus. Hmm. Jesus. Not even you can stop what God is about to do in your life. Hmm. I'm telling you. I, you know, and, and when you said it, I thought about this thought of, of acceleration. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like some people that feel like they've been standing still, mm -hmm. but they're getting ready to accelerate. <laughs> you remember when we first got married and you were like, you better rest now? Yes. Because God's getting ready to do it. Yes. And I was complaining. I was like, well, I've never been there, never been this thing. I just never been. And then all of a sudden, guess what happened? We started moving so fast, we didn't even know which way we were going. We didn't know. We didn't know. And people were, were prophesying. So get ready. They said you need to get more luggage. They were like, why do we need more luggage? Because where you going, the old luggage that you have is not going to work. Mm, it's going to be tore up. And let me tell you, where were we? In um, Guatemala we were... or somewhere, and the luggage broke. <laughs> <laughs> And then oh we, one God. time we were in Chicago. Remember, yes. we had to get a new one when we were in Chicago yes. at the time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So Absolutely. God's doing it. Amen. Absolutely. Let's stay long. We wanted to get out of here, but My we wanted God. to bless you. Amen. We wanted to minister to you. Jesus. Get, get ready for acceleration. We said strength to you today. Get ready Amen. for acceleration. Get ready for God to do amazing things in your Jesus. life. It's your time. It's your season. Jesus. Your time and your chance has come. Amen. Yes. You will not fail. You won't. Uh, you won't falter. You won't procrastinate in this season. You're going to be ready. Amen. You're yes. going to be ready. That's you, right. That's right. Yes. There Go is no stopping us now. Yes. yes. Get your luggage. Get ready. Get prepared. Get ready and know that God is with you and that there is no weapon that's formed against you that can prosper. It's illegal Jesus. for it to prosper. Amen. Illegal. And Absolutely. you're getting ready to do amazing amazing things in Jesus, Jesus name. name. Amen. In Jesus name. The Amen. book will be written. Amen. The ministry will be started. The business will be started in Jesus name. A family will be started in Jesus name. Hallelujah. The very thing that you've been desiring and praying for. And even some of you have had hidden or secret desires that you haven't even, even shared with God more so that you haven't really spoken out of your mouth. God said, I've heard you and I've seen you and I'm going, I'm about to do something. I'm about to remember you. I'm about to release a grace upon your life that you've never seen before, mm. that you've never even walked in before. You're going to do things that you never even dreamed of. It's not going to be because of your education. It's not going to be because of your life experience. It's going to be because of the hand of God that is upon your life, that he's going to catapult you. He's going to accelerate you into places. He's going to open door where your education couldn't, couldn't get you to. But God is going to open a supernatural door for you. Glory to God. And he's going to position you and he's going to place you. Mm. And, and, and the job may not even be there, but God will create. God will mm. cause you to create the job description. Come on, prophet. Mm. And prophesy. You're Jesus. prophesying to somebody today. Jesus. You're God will allow somebody. you to create the job description for what you want to do in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So, Father God, even now, when we just seal this with the, with the blood of Jesus, we seal this with your grace, with your favor, with your anointing in the name of Jesus, and we decree and declare that no weapon formed against these, your sons and your daughters, will be able to prosper. Every tongue that is risen up against them in judgment, it is already condemned right now in Jesus' name. Jesus name father God we thank you that you're accelerating them you're taking them from glory to glory from faith to faith from faith in the name of Jesus, that they will not be stopped, they will not be denied, they will not be delayed, no more delay in Jesus' name, but this is the time and the season for you to fulfill it, to receive everything that God promised, because God said, this is the year of fulfillment. Yes. Yes. And suddenly. And suddenly. And it's going to manifest. It's going to manifest immediately, straightway, without notice. Hmm. <laughs> When you know anything, there's going to be a fire. knock at the door. Come on. Hmm. Yes. Come on. A ring of the telephone. <laughs> yes. Get your get your yes. telephone ready and stand by the turn door. Turn your ringer on because sometimes, most times I have my ringer off, but I'm learning to turn my ringer on mm. because I'm expecting You're something. You're expecting a call. Mm. Jesus. <laughs> Listen, we love y'all. Go to the door. Open the door. We did Jesus. that prophetic act. Amen. Yes. Go to the door and yes. open the door. Get your phone. Mm. Amen. Get your phone. Make sure it's charged. Make sure it's ready. <laughs> so when you get on the phone, it yes. don't die on you. Amen. Because this is your season that God is getting ready to My do amazing God. things. Go to your door Jesus. now. Open your door. Amen. As a matter of fact, I'm going I'm to turn this one and I'm getting ready to go to the door right here. And I'm going to let me see if I can get it. Let me see right there. There we go. Is that it? Is that the door? Yep, that's the door. I'm getting ready to go to the door, and I'm unlocking the door. Can y'all see me? I'm going to the door because I'm expecting somebody yes. to come to the door. Yes. Amen. I'm coming, and I'm opening the door because it's my son. Through my door, someone to walk through my door for my miracle to come yes. and through my door. Amen. It's a prophetic yes. act. You got.